Yo guys, I'm back with another video and today I am going to be talking about why I hate FIFA 18. EA Sports. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Now, it's probably because I am terrible at the game, right? I don't really get higher than Division 3 when it comes to like online FIFA on my team. And I've never actually qualified for the foot championship at the weekend. So, yeah, I'm, I'm bad. Now, I've been playing the game and I just can't get to grips with it. So I still think there's so many things that need to be improved. These are just my opinions. You guys might actually not have these issues, but these issues I have, and I'm just going to tell you why it annoys me. First of all, I think FIFA's like all about luck because I've got a good side. I've got two actually because I don't like using fitness consumables when one team's playing, the other one is gaining fitness, you know, that's how it goes. I come up against loads of teams that are weaker than mine, but always seem to smash me, but the, the player that's controlling it isn't actually necessarily good. I've got possession, I've got shots, I've got passing accuracy, I've got everything in my favour, yet it just takes one chance for them. I could hit the woodwork about 700 times and they just have one chance and it goes in last night i was playing a game and i hit the post five times i missed three open goals and i just don't know what happened it was nil nil up until by the 89th minute and they just counter attacked and scored one one nil i just lost my head did my hand in because i'm hard and it's just unbelievable i face games like that all the time i've not gotten outside division eight i'm in division eight but I can't get higher than Division 8 because the teams I'm coming up against are just so lucky. I don't understand. I just really don't understand it. You don't have to be a good FIFA player as long as you have luck, which I never have, which is why I lose games. You'll win if you have luck. I'm not saying it's never happened to me. I've had games where, like, I have probably been the weaker side and I've won through luck. But still, 9 times out of 10 it comes to games I'm losing because... I'm hitting the post like four times and my defender lags out, they go through a goal and they score and it's just <sighs> straining. It's annoying. Saying that, that takes me on to numero de defending. I have a lot of people saying they can't actually defend on FIFA and I actually can't defend on FIFA either. To be honest, this links to the things that annoy me to be honest, like player change and defending. When it comes to defending being able to change player fluently is actually important. When the player change just doesn't work, it completely f***s up your defending. I conceded a really shit goal the other night. It was like two on four, I had like four defenders back and they had two strikers. And I went to change player to my centre half from my full back, but end up changing to my centre mid. And then their player skipped past me and then cut it back, they scored. I lost it again. Just because like the player change is shit, but when it comes to actually getting a right player change, I can't defend. I like go to press B to lunge in and like get a tackle, but they'll just like skip past me. Or well, my defender won't actually lunge in, he'll just run past the player. It just winds me up. Now player stats always seems to be wrong. Now batch Y for the first like, 30 games I played on FIFA was banging in goals for fun and his pace seemed to be a lot faster than what it suggests on the FIFA card but then I'm coming up against players like bronze players that are like outpacing players like Izquierdo of Brighton who has like 92 pace and this bronze player has like 63 pace or the silver player has like 60 shooting He's banging in long range shots from like 40 yards. I just don't understand it. I don't think the stats actually match the cards and that's what winds me up because I've got a few very good players like Insigni or like Marquisio who have like quite decent stats and their, their ratings are quite high, like 85, between 83 and 85 and they're just very slow players. Insigni's meant to have like 95 pace. Doesn't seem to outpace anyone else. The defenders managed to get to the ball before him. That's why I think the stats don't actually mean anything. Again, that reverts me back to playing against weaker sides, with weaker players and weaker stats and still getting smashed when I have the better side and I play better. It's just... I'm in Division, what, 8 I said, but like when I was in Division 10 and 9 I was still facing players that had like a full informed team. Like how are you getting an informed team in Division 10? But unless you're like an eSports player, I don't understand spending money. I'd be a hypocrite to say I haven't spent money, but I don't spend like 20, 30, 40 quid like some, I see some people do. I'll spend like the odd fiver here and then on a few points just to buy a few premium packs to see if I pack anyone decent, but I don't, I get like non-rare players and it just 
waste of money. Like I said, I'm coming up against teams that have like inform players or like legend icon players that aren't on loan. They've either packed them or they've bought them. There's no point on buying. If you're not an esports player, don't spend money on your team. I don't. And I guess my next point was going to be sweaty players on FIFA that just completely rinse pace or skills and then cut it back or something like that. You could probably put that into the online section where I was on about people who actually spend money on their teams because if you spend money on your team, you're just a sweat and you've got no life. If you're an esports player, like I said, it's a different story or you're trying to be an esports player, but like if you're not and you're just sailing home and you're thinking, I just want to be better than everyone else, but not actually do it if you're worth it, you're an idiot. Stats, squad rating, again, squad, I was gonna say squad rating, but that goes back to stats. It doesn't matter what, how good a squad you have, you might still get beat by a lower rated squad. Like I said, I, my squad's about a 184. I've got Syria that's 184, and I've got a Premier League side that's 183, and I'm, I'm coming up against teams that are like 179 or 180 and getting absolutely rinsed. So squad rating doesn't actually matter, that's what annoys me. I could just buy a team that's rated 180, and still probably do better than the squad I've got that's like 184. Last year, FIFA 17 is completely different now. Like, FIFA 18 is so different to FIFA 17, but when I was playing FIFA 17, I had a SPL side full of um, Celtic and like Motherwell, St. Johnson players like Pace and quite good players. And that, that squad's only rated about 176 at best, unless you get informed players and you might be able to push it to 178. And I'm kind of against teams that are rated like 190, and I'm still smashing them. Like, again, squad rating doesn't really matter. Because realistically, if you've got a better squad, you should have more of an advantage, but it doesn't actually work that way. Player movement winds me up because you could be running with your cam or your center mid, and most players, or most strikers or wingers, make a run. The player intelligence, in-game intelligence, is shocking because the players don't make a run. The player's just like, sidestep across to try and make space but it doesn't actually make space if you've got like a back two here and you've got your striker they're not just gonna go well I'll just drop off here and receive the ball and you've got your full back there they're gonna want to try and bend a run or whatever like you know you know what I mean as a striker you just by creating space or making the right run but the strikers don't make the right run and then when you come back to defense like I said you can't defend properly because the players just run past them out of position players even when you're not controlling that player you're, you can have three in centre mid, and this centre mid will be way over on the wing for some reason, even though you haven't been controlling that player. F***ing annoys me. Really f***ing annoys me. I'm just complaining about everyone that's better than me, which is the majority of people on FIFA, because I can't seem to get past Division 8. And it looks like I'm going to get relegated from Division 8, because I've not won a game, and I've got two points, and I've got three games to save myself. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to say, because I don't want this video to be too long, but FIFA has way too many updates. Every time I go onto my Xbox, FIFA needs a new update. And when you go to update FIFA, it takes about two hours to actually update. Now, it depends on how good your Wi-Fi is, but my Wi-Fi is shocking. Hence why my uploads are always so late. Now, currently, I was gonna play FIFA before I filmed this video, just because I knew I probably would have lost and then this video would have made this video a little bit more fiery. But it was just more of a rant video than something I'm funny, you know. Sometimes I try and make funny videos and it doesn't always pay off. So this time I just thought, I'm turning a camera on. I'm ranting about something I don't like, which is FIFA 18. And hopefully something comes of it. Yeah, so if you've enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. If there's anything about FIFA 18 that annoys you that I haven't mentioned or you want to extend on what I have said, leave a comment below because I do reply to my comments and I do appreciate the support that you guys give me. This one's meant to be some sort of like funny video like I've tried to make. It was just a rant about why I hate FIFA 18. If you haven't already, go and check out my other videos. I've had a few podcasts out recently and me and George also filmed a football video which I will leave here. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, show with your friends, do whatever. But Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you later.